Well, today the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety testified before a grand jury that's considering criminal charges against officers who responded to the Uvalde school shooting. 19 children and two teachers died at Robb Elementary School back in May of 2022, the worst school shooting in Texas history. Police waited more than an hour to confront the gunman inside the classroom that day. Senior reporter Tony Plahetsky is here with more on today's developments. Tony. Brian and Ashley, keep in mind that the grand jury testimony is secret, so we don't exactly know what Colonel Steve McCraw told those grand jurors today, but his presence is significant, and it shows that grand jurors and prosecutors are interested in hearing directly from those connected to that flawed police response. McCraw landed at the Uvalde airport this morning after arriving by state airplane. He was then taken by SUV to a county run fairground facility. That's where the grand jury is meeting in private. Over the past 21 months, Colonel McCraw and his agency have faced criticism for not overtaking the police response from local Uvalde leaders when they arrived at the scene. McCraw has since changed that policy, allowing them to do just that. As we know, DPS initially perpetuated a false narrative that police performed heroically that tragic day in May 2022, when we now know that officers from an array of agencies stood in the hallway for 77 minutes before acting. In the aftermath, DPS fired two troopers, but had about 90 on the scene that day at various times during the response. The KVU defenders report last week that multiple law enforcement officers from various agencies, including DPS, have been summoned to the grand jury. This grand jury is expected to meet for weeks, possibly months before making a decision. They could issue an indictment or do nothing. Keep in mind, in Texas, it takes nine of 12 grand jurors to issue a criminal indictment. And Tony, really talk to us about what it means that the grand jury is hearing from these people in person and not just reading, you know, statements that they've given. And we see grand juries in Texas perform in a variety of ways. Sometimes they look at a trove of evidence, they listen to statements, they hear body camera footage, and they decide based on that alone to issue an indictment. But in this case, we're seeing prosecutors want to give grand jurors the opportunity to ask questions of potential witnesses, follow up on things that they may have said. And I think one thing that is also striking about seeing Colonel McCraws uh, arrive to testify today, and that is it shows the range of people who were being summoned to hear the grand jury. It's not just rank and file officers who are in that hallway. The grand jury clearly also wants to hear from agency heads of agencies who were on the ground at Rob Elementary that day. Real quick, why a fairground facility? Do you know this? Is this unusual? Thank you for asking that. Apparently, this is just a, a space kind of issue, and mm. that, you know, that is where they have space. I'm told that other county operations happen at that fair place. I also want to point out, though, in terms of maintaining grand jury secrecy, they are keeping the media far away mm. from that facility, and so that is allowing people witnesses and the grand jurors themselves to enter and exit without, for example, being seen or, or photographed. Certainly will be interesting to see how this all plays out. Senior report.